Um, this is this new English designer called Osman. I like it. I felt it was a little kind of sandy from Greece. Mm -hmm. a little. I almost wore the same thing today. This would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Do you know Jason Bateman? Have you met him before? No. We've never met before. She has no idea who I am either. No, that's not true. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm Michael Strathan. <laughs> Did she get it? Yeah. We you all get it. We all get it. We yeah. all got it? Yeah, we got it. We get it? Um, yeah. So, uh, some people are like, no, I don't. Um, <laughs> so, you presented at the Oscars. I, 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 I saw you walk out, but I did not get to see you at uh, the show or the parties. Did you have fun? Were you, were you nervous? Was it your first time? First time at the Oscars. It was very exciting. Um, I thought the show was amazing. Um, I was doing fine, actually. I wasn't that nervous at all. And then... Joseph was holding my arm before we were going to go out, and I was like, you know what? I just feel so grateful to be here, and this is amazing. And I actually feel really calm. He was like, yeah, this is fine. I mean, this is a great experience, and it's only like a billion people are going to be watching us in like two minutes. I was like, oh, my God. I feel so... I was fine, and now I feel so unfine. So thanks, Joseph, for that. You didn't look nervous. Thank you. You didn't. Yeah. And did you go to parties afterwards? I'm an yeah. Um, <laughs> um, well, I had planned, you know, because the Vanity Fair party is very exciting and everyone goes and blah. And, um, but yeah, I got back <laughs> to my hotel room to change, took the dress off, like got into someone's coat and ended up just falling asleep in the coat. And someone woke me up and was like, do you want to get changed to go to the party now? I was like, oh, I just kind of just want to stay here. So I just ate pizza and... Fell asleep and it was actually it was actually perfect. with this lucky guy that lost his coat. With this lucky guy that lost his coat, exactly. It sounded like you tripped um, into a better night. Yeah, no. well, no, I'm just I was on English time, so a little bit jet lagged, and thanks for the coat, I guess. Yeah. I so your, I mean, your life is amazing because you've been in these huge movies. You're the, this new movie now, and you just graduated or are about to graduate from Brown. I'm about to graduate in May. So you went back to college, and. <laughs> You, How you, is that normal? Did I, you go back to college? I, you were no, a child I'm, actor. Did you? I did my time in high school. Uh, <laughs> I could not understand the concept of additional voluntary school. I mean, at the time, it just didn't compute to me. But now, uh, with hindsight, I, I wish I had continued at a place as cool as Brown. I mean, how was that? Was it? Was it? Did you stop acting altogether? No. You kind of split your time. So, um, so in America, you guys graduate in four years, and I'll graduate in five. So I ended up taking two full semesters off, and then I worked during all of my, all of my breaks. And do, do, you, do you get teased there? Cause, like, I got teased in school a lot. This was, this was junior high. People were, <laughs> you know, that was... Because you were on the, TV. Right, those are the teasing years. But at Brown, probably people respected the fact that there you are studying for an, an occupation at a college, but you already have one. Did they respect the, the work that you had done and... Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I guess everyone in their freshman year is kind of nervous and is kind of figuring out, I don't know, figuring it all out. Right. And I think people kind of took pity on me. They were just, she's <laughs> no. English, she doesn't really know where she's going. <laughs> she Poor thing, she's all the Harry Potter right. movies. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, they just kind of, they were, brown kids were actually weirdly protective of me. Like, in situations around Providence, they kind of, I don't know, they like saw it as their role to help me have that experience somehow. I don't know, they kind of got yeah. it. I don't know how to explain it. The higher class of people at, at Brown than my <laughs> junior high. Yeah. My junior high was not, not attracting a bunch of world beaters. <laughs> yeah.